If you got a pack of chicken tenders and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. Trigger warning, before you clean your chicken tenders, what I typically do is remove the tendon with like a fork. I use the fork method, um, but it's different ways that you can remove that or you can keep it in. It's up to you. Then I rinse it off with cold water vinegar and give it a good rinse so the water is clear. And then I season my meat. Y'all know the routine. I just did some onion powder, garlic powder, some roasted garlic seasoning, and some saison. And then I gave it a good mix. I make sure it was well mixed well marinated before i added my sauce onto it y'all i'm making some zaxby salad at home the salad if you have a um zaxby's near you then you know what i'm talking about it's so good so i'm making it at home i added one egg and then i added some um buttermilk and let it sit into that until it got creamy like that. Gave it a good mix. And then I added it into flour. I did not have any all-purpose flour. So I just used wheat flour. Um, And it actually turned out pretty good. I think my chicken tenders were looking like Zaxby chicken tenders, y'all. I'm so excited. So anyway, after you fully coat it on both sides, you want to go ahead and add it into your hot oil. I just used some vegetable oil. Make sure it was um, high enough to fry the chicken tenders. And you just want to fry them until they're done. Depending on like your chicken tenders, the size that they are, how many that you have, it's going to take about... I want to say 12 minutes or so total to cook your chicken tenders. Just watch them. They don't take that long, um, depending on the size of them again. So just watch them until they're completely done. You want to make sure your chicken is well done. And um, I also shred like a little um, or peel a piece of the cucumber skin off. That's optional. I just like the way it looks when it's in the salad. Um, but you can leave the skin on and I just diced it up, roughly diced it um, or sliced it up to come out looking like this this is for my salad but you can choose to cut it into cubes i've seen that before or you can dice it up as well i've also seen that before in salad so depending on how you want your salad that's going to determine how you make your um cucumbers okay but i just sliced them up and i did the same thing with my tomatoes i just cut the ends off and then i cut them into fours and then i gave it like a rough chop a real rough chop okay <laughs> they're not perfect i'm just mixing them up into my salad again making salad is so fun y'all because you can add anything that you want bacon you can add eggs avocado toast croutons whatever you want to add you can add trigger warning i do clean off my greens as well um you can do spinach as well but i just got like a mixed green from Publix and i just rinsed it off and then i gave it a good rinse um i cleaned off my cucumbers as well as my tomatoes so i just rinsed it all off together and look at my chicken tenders y'all see that Look at that. If you have a Zaxby's, you know, okay? These chicken tenders look like Zaxby's. I'm starting to think they use whole wheat flour to fry their chicken tenders. Yeah, I got the sauce. <laughs> and this sauce right here, that Italian dressing from Olive Garden, y'all, is so delicious. That's what I love to use and mix up in my salad. Like, we love that real bad around here. I added some shredded carrots, some clean shredded carrots. And then I added some avocado to my salad as well. Gave that a good mix. And it came out looking like this. Um, Again, you can plate it up however you want to. I boiled the egg, added that to the side. I added some chopped avocado. And then I put some more dressing on top. I added some cheese. And then voila. My chicken tenders were plated up nicely. Like, this was so cute. I forgot to add the croutons, but they were on the side as well. And then the toast. My man didn't want toast, so I just didn't make any. But you can definitely add the toast because that comes with the salad. But, yeah, this is Zaxby's at home. Try this recipe. Bye, y'all.